Tali Kishner's son, Segev, was killed at the Supernova Music Festival massacre on October 7. She's flown to Australia to help fight the anti-Semitism that's taken hold, and she joins me now from a vigil in Sydney. Tali, thank you very much for your time. Thank Look, you very much for having us here. Now, you were at the hotel in Melbourne last night that was stormed by those pro-Palestinian activists. They were throwing bloodied, fake babies, dolls on the floor in front of you and your fellow Israelis. How much of a shock was that for you when you arrived home to the hotel to see the protesters inside? It was extremely shocking because till yesterday, uh, we had a lot of meetings. We have a very, very busy schedule. And um, at each and every meeting, people were sharing so much sympathy, love and care, understanding, deep understanding, engagement with um, all our uh, stories, personal grief. And, and, you know, it was incredibly shocking. Did it make you feel intimidated and afraid? Personally, me not, but there were uh, people in the delegations who uh, really uh, experienced an extraordinary horrible things during October 7th and this, you know, this um, exhi exhibitions and installations that were brought in the middle of the lobby in the hotel, they just um, caused a, to a very, very painful memories to flash up. Me personally, I was very much deeply insulted by the situation, offended by the situation, because it's, it's unspeakable, really. I mean, Tully, you're in Australia to campaign against anti-Semitism, to show people what happened to your family, to people like you on October 7. Did this protest last night at your hotel show you just how deep this hatred is, even in Australia? I think so, and even more, it was very fine-tuned that the people, they do not understand what is going on. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no clue about the, they call this conflict of the Jews and Palestinians. It's not about that. They have not a clue. How have you been coping on this trip more generally? Because I know that your son Segev always wanted to visit Australia. Can you repeat the question once again, please? I was saying, how have you coped emotionally on this visit? Because your son always wanted to visit Australia. Hmm. Um, you know, um, I'm trying to, uh, to just uh, to focus on the very positive things that and, uh, I, I really experience so much love and, uh, and so nice and friendly faces all, uh, all the world where we're going and, and, and I prefer to, to put all these negative and very bad uh, emotions behind me. Mm. On October 7, when did you first know that something was wrong? Did, did you manage to speak to Segev? No, unfortunately not. I even didn't say goodbye to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because, you know, he went out of our house at 2 a.m. I was already asleep. And when I awoke, he was already killed because he was killed around 8 and 5 minutes in the morning. And, you know, I was texting to the boy who, who was not with us anymore. I was texting to my dead boy. Sorry. And, and you know, we started to get news from the WhatsApp and from the television, and it was incomprehensible what is going on. But I knew only later that when he was really killed, but at this moment, um, we were just looking for him in every and each possible way by, 
by all means, by all channels, Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, we just, you know, mm. play there his photos, just, just, just to get a piece of the information. It, it mm. was terrible. Terrible. Tally, so I can... For more than four days, no, Tali, I can only imagine how difficult this is for you to speak about that traumatic day to the media while you're still dealing with such grief. And we thank you for being here. We thank you for travelling to Australia to try fight the anti-Semitism. And we're all sorry for what you and your fellow Israelis are going through still. So thank you so much for joining us and for speaking to us. Um, and have a, a safe rest thank of your trip. Thank you very trip. much. Thank you.